Hello everybody, I am Dr. Shujal Mubarak. In fact, uh, today we are here for uh, commencing our lectures on intellectual capital and with me, my honorable colleague and friend, Rana Tariq Mahmood. In fact, uh, he is teaching, uh, he is the main professor of the course and I am the co-professor, co-faculty of the course of the intellectual capital. So we are, together we are teaching the course of intellectual capital and these uh, lectures we are preparing for our students of the intellectual capital at Muhammad Ali Jinnah University. Karachi, Pakistan. Obviously, we will be keeping the medium of instruction of uh, our lectures in English uh, so that uh, the global audience, the audience around the globe can get benefit of our lectures and uh, we can get also the feedback from the people around the globe. Nevertheless, I will request uh, to our students of the intellectual capital class that please um, uh, listen to these lectures and watch these lectures very carefully. And whatever you have the issues, queries, you can uh, get them and discuss with them in the, our interactive session, which usually we'll be conducting on uh, maybe on the Saturdays and Sundays. Before that, before commencing the lectures and giving uh, uh, the stage to the Ranadar Tariq Mahmood, uh, uh, I will uh, pray for the humanity to get rid of uh, this uh, chronic coronavirus. And definitely, I'll also uh, request you to please uh, pray for the humanity. The, this is a global crisis. This is not the crisis of a particular country. This is not a crisis of a particular community. Rather than this is a crisis for the whole of the humanity. So we all have to come together. This is the time that all the humanity have to come together in order to help each other. So I think this is the real time that we have to we have to forget any kind of so the differences. Of based upon the ethnicity and the nation and whatever, and we have to come together in order to help to the our global audience. So with this message, I am going to hand over the stage to my colleague and friend, Rana Tariq Mahmood. He will be commencing the first lecture, which will be comprising on the intellectual capital and its basic orientations. The next lecture would be uh, conducted by me. Uh, that would be more on the value creation of the human capital, and obviously that lecture would be available uh, that is, in fact, uh, 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 available in the YouTube link uh, uh, if you just go on our YouTube, uh, uh, this page below. So, uh, with this, I hand over stage to Rana Tariq Mahmood. Thank you very much. Bismillah uh, ar Thank you very much, uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Shijat Pobarek, um, uh, for, for this contribution of intellectual capital. Uh, I'm really th thankful to my uh, international professor who really contribute uh, in international dis uh, intellectual capital discourse, uh, Professor Dr. Nick Montes, uh, Director, Institute of Intellectual Capital Research Professor, McMaster, University of Canada, Professor uh, Dr. Jam, uh, University of Sydney, Australia, Professor Jen, uh, Copenhagen School, uh, Denmark, uh, Professor Carl, no, uh, Chairman Knowledge Research uh, Institute, Texas, USA, uh, Professor Dr. Gary Becker, no, uh, Nobel Laureate uh, on Human Capital, uh, Tom Stewart, uh, the Intellectual Capital, the Organizational Wealth, uh, Professor Dr. Raja Rasia, major contributor, uh, Professor in um, University of Malaysia, Malaya, Malaysia. Uh, in Pakistan, Professor Dr. Khaliqul Rahman, uh, Raja Kashmir. University Professor Dr. Shujaat Mubarak, Dean Muhammad Ali Jinnah University, Karachi, and myself, Rana Tariq Mahmood, uh, contributing in MBA Express Intellectual Capital. I'm really thankful to uh, my Vice Chancellor President, Professor Dr. Zubair Mashaykh, who really motivated me uh, to contribute to my national and international professors, uh, um, international students. Thank you. Let's start with the lecture of uh, intellectual capital. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, um, we um, uh, adopted the book of Managing Intellectual Capital in Practices uh, by uh, Stephen Peke uh, and George, um, Jordan Rose. Uh, let's start with the, uh, there are three, two to three things is very much important in intellectual capital. The number one is what is intellectual capital and uh, why intellectual capital is important. And uh, what are the basically how to manage the intellectual capital is called intellectual capital management. Uh, if we see the uh, if we see the uh, intellectual capital architecture, uh, 
last 30 years of the major change in the global economy this is called global economic restructuring uh, agriculture uh, uh, the global economy shifted agri agriculture to manufacturing manufacturing to services and services knowledge economy uh, definitely organizational competitiveness firms competitiveness are changed shifted also uh, that shifted from intangible uh, that shifted from competitiveness to sustainable competitive advantage uh nowadays uh, organizational uh, restructuring the organization wants to tangible uh, shifted to tangible so intangible issues uh, definitely when the organizations are uh, uh, shifted from tangible to intangible issues the inimitable resources uh, on how to attain the intangible uh, issues the number one the human organization have a human capabilities we have organizations we have relational capitals we have and third one organizations uh, have uh, uh, structural capital uh, let's start with the human according to the peter tucker says that 1969 the effective is active books uh, the knowledge economy uh, they are two type of worker of uh, any any organization number one is a uh, knowledge worker and number two is a manual worker knowledge worker is uh, totally based on innovative and uh, uh, innovative based economy and technology based economy and manual worker definitely the production efficiency they are required uh human capabilities uh, uh, definitely gary becker is a nobel laureate uh, 1962 uh, they says that uh, knowledge skills and ability is uh, is most important for the to uh, human uh, to uh, for human capital number two is a uh, organizational relationship that that is a psychological context of the uh, employee employee relationship employee employee relationship and definitely employee customer supplier relationships uh, it, uh the third one is structural capital uh, is a physical uh, in uh, non physical infrastructure we call that resource based view by tanro 1959 and uh, and the taxonomy uh, is given by 1997 of intellectual capital and definitely intellectual capital discourse is based on the three things number one is the human capital number two is the relational capital and number three is the structural capital uh what is intellectual capital and why it is important what is intellectual capital and why it is important over the last uh, 20 years uh, we say the rapid growth uh, in the uh, uh, economy in the global economy the organization understands the role of intellectual capital and definitely the organization forms the uh, which resource are uh, intangible resource they are required uh, there are uh, there has been realization that organization should be managed uh, differently including the use of new method of performance measurement and discourse of intellectual capital in recent uh, survey conducted by economist intelligence unit survey they call that according to that survey uh, in 94% uh, of ceos uh, uh, says that uh, understanding and the managing of intellectual capital is more essential is more important and 50% uh, says that 50% uh, ceo says that intellectual capital is one of the most uh, uh, one of the third most important challenge uh, for the managers and organizational uh, development practitioners and 13% uh, says that is the most important challenges what is intellectual capital uh, the definition of intellectual capital the term intellectual capital uh, has exist for a long time but uh, the concept is not yet common uh, used throughout the business world uh, intellectual capital can define as a non monetary and non uh, physical resources are fully uh, are partially uh, controlled by the organization and that are contribute to the organization value creations it means intellectual capital contribute in the organizational value creations intellectual capital um, resource contribute to the organization potential to the uh, create value and collectively known as intellectual capital uh, also there are many subdivisions uh, sub dimensions of intellectual capital as the most of the um, uh, uh, economists say that the most of organizational development practitioners say that there are three in main uh, uh, subdivisions of uh, sub dimensions of uh, intellectual capital the number one is 
human capital. Human capital is based on uh, employees' behavior, employees' attitudes, uh, employees' competencies, employees' knowledge, skills, and abilities, employees' education, employees' networking. The second one is the relational capital. Is the second one uh, employee, uh, employees' relations, employees' relations, stakeholder relations, supplier relationships, uh, customer and consumer relationships, partner relationships. Uh, owner's relationship is very much important in the relational capital. And the third one is the structural capital. Uh, definitely, uh, Edmondson says that uh, all those things that uh, remain in the organization when the employees uh, left the building, but uh, uh, that you cannot find in the balance sheet, it means when you left the uh, organization is behind the basically your processes, is behind the basically uh, systems, is behind the intellectual properties, is behind the organizational structure, information, databases. Uh, uh, according to the survey by 1997, there's the first taxonomy of intellectual capital. Uh, Tom Stewart says that is a very well uh, known um, uh, author of uh, intellectual capital. Uh, it says that it is uh, something you cannot touch, but uh, which makes you rich. Uh, intellectual capital have a three main uh, uh, dimensions. The number one is human. Uh, educate human are sub dimensions are education, experience, and training and skills. Uh, structural capital have a system, program, uh, research and development processes, procedures, and methods. A relational capital, we have uh, strategic alliances, customer supplier relationships, uh, customer knowledge. The main contributor uh, of uh, intellectual capital is John Kenty, 1969, Tom, uh, Tom Stewart, 1991, uh, Carl, 1997, and Nick Morton, 1998. Uh, the next, the first sub dimension of uh, intellectual capital is human capital. Uh, it's based on the human capital theory, which is given by um, uh, Gary Becker, 1962. Uh, human capital, uh, you do not um, uh, build a business, you uh, build the people, the people build the business, uh, according to the Zig Zagler says that. Uh, Gary Becker says in 1992, suggests that people are the most important, the other resource involved in the production and uh, goods and services. A proper investment of uh, human capital uh, may be the performance of individual groups, organization, country level. Uh, Mobile 2015 says that mention of uh, uh, human capital as uh, employees, knowledge, skills, and abilities, uh, instrument to sustainable competitive advantage. They are main elements of uh, many main elements of the human capital. The number one is the competencies, knowledge, skills, and ability. Now all learning, team, uh, work uh, capabilities. The main contributing uh, principal contributor of uh, human capital is uh, William Pretty, 1691. Is a very old concept. Adam Smith is a 1796. Uh, definitely uh, wealth of nation. The second one, uh, next one is Gary Becker, 1962 Nobel laureate. Person, uh, University of Chicago, and in Pakistan, Dr. Shujaat Mubarak is working on uh, human capital on SMEs uh, sector of Pakistan. The second one is uh, second sub dimension of intellectual capital is the social uh, social capital. We call the relational capital. The, some authors say that uh, customer capital is based on social exchange theory, and uh, definitely uh, take care of your employees. They take care of your customers uh, by yeah, uh, Jack. Uh, social exchange theory, understanding the human social behavior, and definitely human uh, relational capital. The relationships uh, with the power relationships and the cooperation relationships, in the institutional relationships and the people relationships and the firms relationships, organizational relationships. Uh, the main elements of uh, uh, relational capital is customer relationships. Supplier relationship, interpersonal relationship, consumer relationships, uh, and definitely that is a psychological context of uh, any organization that is an employee, employee relationship, employee, employee relationship at the same level and the low level, and uh, employees, customer, and supplier relationships. And the main contributor, principal contributor of uh, uh, 
social exchange uh, theory is uh, Hormans, 1959, George Hormans is 1958, and the uh, main contributing in relational capital is a chain 2007 and Mubarak uh, 2018. Uh, the third main contributing, uh, the third main element of uh, uh, intellectual capital is uh, is uh, subdimension of intellectual capital is structural capital is resource is uh, based on the resource based theory, resource based view, Penrose 1959. Uh, definitely, uh, uh, of the structural capital, this is called also called organizational capital. Some authors say that that is a process capital. Some authors say that that is an innovational capital. Uh, organizational capital is based on organizational philosophy, organizational capital based on the organization culture, organization values, and organization systems. And process capital is based on technological procedure, programs, methods, standards. And innovational capital is based on the intellectual property, rights, patents, copyrights, trademarks. And the main contributor, uh, con principal contribution of uh, uh, structural capital uh, of Adventure 1997. Uh, firstly, we understand that before we are going to the thoroughly uh, dis uh, discuss about the intellectual capital, firstly we differentiate what is basically the monitoring, monetary and physical resources are there. What is basically the monitoring and physical resources is. Uh, monitoring and physical resources uh, are basically is very challenging resources nowadays. Uh, this means that uh, cannot simultaneously use in different purpose. Um, for example, aeroplane that is uh, presently flying between Singapore and Sydney cannot at the same time fly between the Los Angeles and uh, London. Intellectual uh, capital resource and other resources ha on, uh, uh, on the other hand uh, are uh, um, is uh, not challenging. That means the simultaneously they use uh, simply intellectual, uh, there are three types of example of intellectual capital we are, um, if we learn about intellectual capital. The number one is a customer relationship can simultaneously uh, be used to earn money and to build the brand of the supply, that is the relational capital. The second one is the booking uh, systems uh, can simultaneously confirm as the booking on the Singapore, um, uh, Sydney, and Los Angeles uh, London flights, that is organizational structure capital. And the third one is uh, definitely the competent individual can simultaneously think about the business program, uh, problem and the drive a car to the airport, fly to Singapore, that is a human capital. And uh, uh, if we differentiate uh, characteristics of five different uh, resources in group, number one, we have the monetary uh, resources we have, we have the physical resources we have, the relational resource we have, the organizational resource we have, and definitely the human resource we have. And human resource we have the knowledge, creativity, the, uh, the ability, the capabilities, and the uh, attitudes and the motivations organizational resource we have, the uh, processes, uh, routine systems, uh, the structures, uh, the um, organizational uh, systems, the organizational hierarchies, the brand image, and the reputation of the organizations, and definitely relational capital is, uh, um, is uh, basically uh, focused on uh, the customer supply relationships. Uh, if we um, uh, uh, see, link with the uh, strategy and the resources we have, uh, resources. Uh, the pattern of the decision making in the company that determines and uh, uh, reveals its objectives, purpose, and the goals, uh, procedures that the principal policies and the plan for achieving those goals. Uh, it defines the range of business that company to pursue and uh, the, the kind of economic and human organization it. Uh, is or intend to be and uh, the nature of the economic and uh, non-economic uh, contributing intent, uh, intent to make its stakeholder, employees, customer and community. Uh, the, uh, uh, the main, uh, the strategic values uh, to deliver to customer is uh, basically is the value uh, dimensions. There are uh, four value dimensions to create the value uh, of any customer. 
the number one is the reduced cost, the number two is the high fit uh, functionality, the number three is the high descent, um, the number four is the mental proximity. Uh, high cost, uh, the reduced cost is basically the time, money, uh, existing relationships, and the high cost functionality is the link with the color, weight, high speed, and likeness, dislikeness, and uh, high distance uh, is basically the brand, reputation, image, uh, likeness, dislikeness, mental proximity is basically linked with uh, language, shared value, shared looks, and uh, likes. Uh, what is intellectual capital management processes? And uh, uh, what are the basically the processes we uh, the authors are adopting for the intellectual capital management? Uh, uh, that uh, add together that um, the knowledge is intellect uh, that uh, knowledge is intellectual capital. Uh, in 1991, uh, uh, Tom Stewart says every cap uh, every company every organization depends increasing on uh, knowledge. Uh, patents, process, management skills, uh, technology, information about the customer and supplier, and old fashioned experiences. Uh, Stewart defined intellectual capital. What is intellectual capital as a sum of, uh, of everything, everybody in the company organization uh, known that gives the company uh, a competitive edge in the market? It uh, plays, which means intellectual capital, uh, the impact of intellectual capital. Uh, on uh, sustainable competitive advantage and uh, definitely through organization performance. Uh, the steps of intellectual capital management processes as follows that analyzing, analyze the strategy of the organizations, uh, present and future desired strategic positions. The number two is the construct, a uh, resource distinguished tree for the organization. Number three, decide all the uh, resources are to be deployed to achieve the organization desired positions, uh, analyze and evaluate the effectiveness of intellectual capital guidance, and the last one is the creative, uh, create uh, performance management tools uh, uh, for tracking the efficiency with which uh, value is created in the organizations. What is the basically the value creating, uh, creating uh, logs are there, logs are there, logics are there, the number one, uh, the, we start with the uh, economic behavior of the uh, of the firm's organization will clearly ob observable and clearly um, recognized. Uh, says there are three types of uh, economic uh, behavior. The number one, decrease margin, uh, marginal uh, return, increase marginal return, and network economic marginal returns are there. We we will uh, look uh, more. Closely at the three value creation logics called number one is value chain, number two is the value shop, and the number three is uh, value networks, uh, as uh, we, we have identified uh, previously. The number one um, uh, value chain, the portal uh, conventional value chain, the product and services output tends to embody everything uh, that brings value to the customers. Uh, the, uh, the activities uh, executed in the value creation logic as a sequential uh, and linear, definitely linear, and uh, the overall processes as clear beginning and clear end. The type, uh, this type of the value creation, uh, the value creation lies on the standardized process and uh, uh, the economics of uh, learning and the mass productions, economic of scale. And uh, that is basically uh, the value chain, logic, infrastructure, human resource management, technology development, procurement, inbound logistics are there, operations are there, outbound logistics are there, marketing services are there, uh, marketing sales are there, and the services uh, and, and um, the, the infrastructure, human technology and procurement, that is the sportive uh, activities are there, and the family activities are the um, uh, value chain logic is uh, uh, inbo inbound logistics operations and definitely the services. The shop, uh, the value shop is very much important, is the main focus on the solving previously unsolved problem of the customer or client, uh, the infrastructure, human resource, and technology. Uh, procurement is a very important role for that. And the, uh, the last one is the knowledge networks. In the value networks, the basis of 
uh, value creation uh, lies in the connecting people uh, or, uh, or organizations who uh, wish uh, to be uh, temporarily independent and will remain uh, independent. Actually, in enabling of uh, this connecting um, uh, the basis of the value creations, uh, definitely promote networks, uh, manage uh, uh, members, and uh, services uh, uh, provisions are there, and then infrastructure uh, operations are there. Thank you very much for the first lecture of intellectual capital. What is intellectual capital and why it's important? Thank you very much.